Hello there, friends. How are you today? It's a new year and I'm so excited to set up a reading corner. I just love to curl up with a good book. First, we need a bunch of soft pillows. This is my favorite fluffy pillow. It makes me feel so bright and comfy. Next, we need some cozy blankets. I love my super fuzzy blanket. It is so soft and fluffy and warm. Hmm, let's see. We have pillows, we have blankets. What else do we need for our book corner? Oh, of course. Shout it out if you know what else we need for the book corner. Books. Yes, we need books. I love, love, love books. There's so much we can learn from stories. I have picture books, chapter books, and I have the most important book of all. Can you guess what it is? The Bible. That's right, Bangani. The Bible is the greatest book of all. It has some of the greatest stories ever told. And this month, we'll be learning stories told by the greatest storyteller ever, Jesus. That's why our Bible memory verse for the month is, the crowds were amazed at his teaching. Matthew chapter seven, verse 28. Let's say it together. I'll say it first, and then you repeat it after me. The crowds were amazed at his teaching. Matthew chapter seven, verse 28. Jesus is an amazing teacher. So people were always amazed when they listened to his teachings and stories. All month, we're going to be going through some of Jesus's teachings. Now, let's see. What shall we read from the greatest storyteller today? Oh, I know, I'm going to need your help. When you see these clapping hands, clap once. When you see two claps, clap twice. And when you see three claps, clap three times. Let's practice. Clap once. Clap twice. Clap three times. Good job, friends. Now, let's get into it. In today's story, Jesus teaches us about God's love. Today's story told by Jesus was about a father and his son. There was a father who had two sons who he loved very much. He wanted to share all he had with them. He worked hard to make sure that when they were older, they would have all they needed. He had saved a lot of money to give to his sons when they were much older. But one day, the younger son asked his dad to give him all the money right away. What do you think the dad did? Do you think he gave his son the money? If you think the dad gave his son the money, clap once. If you think the dad did not give the son the money, clap twice. You're right. The father gave the younger son his part of the money. The son took the money and left. He went far away from home and he didn't want to be around his dad anymore. He just wanted the money. The son took his dad's money and spent it on everything. He wasted the money. He bought fancy clothes, he ate fancy food, he spent and spent and spent. Aww. He spent until his father's money was all gone. Everyone say, all gone. All gone. There was no more money. The son didn't know what to do. He didn't have a bed to sleep in or any food to eat. He was so hungry that he even thought about eating pig food. Everyone say, ew. The son was very hungry. The son knew he had made a lot of bad choices. He was so sorry and he wanted to go home. But he didn't know if his dad would let him come home. But since he had nowhere else to go, he chose to go home anyway. He said he would just work for his dad. He knew his dad took good care of his workers. The son was not 
expecting to be treated like a son anymore, only as a worker. But every day the father had been waiting for his son to come home. He would look outside towards the road, hoping that his son would come back one day. When the father saw him coming from far away, he was so excited that he dropped everything and he ran to his son and he hugged him. He welcomed him back home as a son. And then the father was so happy that he even threw a big party to celebrate. Everyone say, yay, my son is home. Yay, the son is home. That's how the dad felt. He was so glad when his son came home. The dad loved his son so much, even though the son had made many bad choices. What an amazing story. I'm so glad we have a friend like Jesus to teach us important things. He teaches us that God loves us no matter what, just like the father loved his son in this story. Even when we make bad choices, God loves us too. He will always accept us in his arms. When I ask who teaches you important things, you say, Jesus teaches me important things. Ready? Who teaches you important things? Jesus teaches me important things. Jesus teaches me important things. Who teaches you important things? Jesus teaches me important things. That's right. Okay, friends, it's time to pray. Let's close our eyes and talk to God together. God, thank you for sending Jesus to be our friend forever. We know that Jesus teaches us important things. Thank you for loving us no matter what. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Friends, we can read this story Jesus told about the Father and the Son right here in the Bible. And we can read many more stories told by the greatest storyteller ever, Jesus. Today, we learn that the Father loved His Son, just like God loves me and you, no matter what. God loves us when we're happy. He loves us when we're sad, when we've made good choices and when we've made bad choices. Wow. What an amazing lesson learned from the story Jesus tells. Now, I think I got the story. If you got it, say, got it. Got it. Good. Now, before we go, let's do our Bible memory verse again. Are you ready, boys and girls? Yay! Here we go. The crowds were amazed at his teaching. Matthew chapter 7, verse 28. Good job. Thanks for joining me in the reading corner today. I can't wait to see you next time. Salani gashe bangani. Bye. I have decided.